with the Nordic Semiconductor, and who are you? So my name is Paul Kostnes, so I'm a Technical Marketing Manager with Nordic. And uh, here's a bunch of the chips that you do, right? You do very small uh, processors. Yes, so we do wireless uh, SOCs, or system of chips, where you integrate our radio together with uh, ARM core, and with all the peripheral set you need to build a total application. And you support Bluetooth? Uh, and uh, what is the other support? Yes, have? so uh, we have been a Bluetooth company, we've been delivering Bluetooth solutions for a very long time, so we're focusing very heavily on Bluetooth low energy. And uh, lately we have added some new devices to our roadmap, so we added support for new FIs. So we are able to run things like um, 802154, the industry standard uh, radio protocols. Uh, and on top of this one, we are now adding a thread solution. So we will be supporting a full-blown thread on the same devices where we can also run Bluetooth Low Energy. So that's Zigbee, this, what Zigbee is based on? Yeah, so Zigbee is one of the standards built on 802.15.4. Thread is another one. There's uh, six slow pan, also runs uh, on top of 802.15.4. And you have uh, wireless heart. There's a lot of different standards built on 802.15.4. Um, we are moving into thread with this one to be able to provide uh, full mesh functionality for this. And uh, here you have a demo uh, showing off uh, how this works. This is called the NRF52840, right? Yes. So this is our latest device. Yeah. So this is our latest device. This is um, a device we are targeting now, not only for wearables and so on, where we uh, have been playing a lot in the past. This one has also added functionality for doing more automation. Uh, so it comes with 802.15 support to do thread. Uh, it also supports Bluetooth 5 with uh, both the high speed and the long range. So, and has a lot of, of new hardware modules inside as well. So it's right here, the chip, right? Yes. So we have the chip in here. So it comes in a, in a nice little package, got more uh, IO pins than before. It also comes with, uh, with a quad SPI interface. So we have an external uh, flash for data storage. And it has a built-in USB interface, so you can actually connect it directly to the PC. You sell this kit? Yes, we do sell these kits. They are fully available through our distribution source, so you can, you can source them from our distributors. And what demo do you have here? So this is a thread house. So this one has a lot of different nodes, emulating a full house. Uh, everything controlled through, uh, through the radio. Uh, they're running thread, which is standard uh, uh, defined by Nest, so Google in, in, in practice. Um, OpenThread is the software solution that Nest is, is using for, for their own uh, devices. Yeah. And this one is actually based on IPv6, so it's just 802.15.4 with the thread layer on top of that and everything that's being communicated is over IPv6. So can you show what can it do? Yes, so if you look at this one right now, we have a door, we have a, a fan, we have lighting and so on. Um, I can unlock the door, I can open the door, you can close the door, I can turn on and off the light, um, I can turn on and off the air conditioning, we have a socket outlet for controlling a TV, there's a uh, alarm setting here as well, and the entire demo with all of the sensors in here is actually connected to the, to the cloud, so you'll be able to go on a, on a website in the cloud and see the status of everything going on inside. And it says here, open thread, uh, released by Nest. Yes. So they open source their system. Yes, and we are one of the key contributors to the, to the, to the thread stack itself, to open thread. So we provide a lot of, uh, of the software that's being dr uh, been driving the open thread. Does it have all the security and everything people need in IoT? Yes, so it's, it, since it runs on IPv6, you can run all of the standard uh, IP protection, you can run TLS, DTLS, and so on, on top of it. And is it ARM Cortex M? This is ARM Cortex M4 uh, with the floating point hardware, so you have the possibility to do nice uh, sensor libraries very efficiently. And it uh, comes with a lot of memory, so you have a lot of space to play around with. So one megabyte of flash is 256K byte of RAM, so you can run very advanced applications very easily. So the NRF52 series is a very important one, right? Yes. It's, and uh, this is the latest? This is the latest one, and uh, it has everything we did in the past. It's software compatible with the previous devices, but it's a direct upgrade pass. It's very easy to migrate from a previous design to this one. All right, so it's going to be more and more busy at uh, Nordic Semiconductor. Most definitely, yes. All right, because there's going to be a trillion IoT devices, I heard. 
So uh, yeah, I think that I have heard a lot of different numbers, but for sure, it's starting to really move now, and we are seeing these new standards like uh, Thread is driving this because it becomes a lot easier to integrate it than it has been in the past. And by being the leader, that means you're already shipping million, hundreds of million or million, I don't know how many millions. Uh, we're shipping millions of parts every month, yeah. All right. So 